Good morning, everybody. It's time to cook a little bit of breakfast. So instead of cooking a uh, regular breakfast, I'm going to do a Danish. I wanted to try this for the longest. These are those uh, Cinnabon uh, cinnamon rolls um, with icing, but we're going to do the recipe on the back of the box. They're at Sam's Club, of course, and they're very inexpensive. This is something good for the holidays. You know, I tell you, this time of the year, I get into uh, cooking uh, sweets and pies and things like that, festive stuff, uh, things that you can just cut a slice of, put it on a plate, and bring out the coffee pot. So hold on a minute. I'm competing with my radio and my TV. I'm coming y'all. There's so much going on these days um, in the news. I turned the radio on Urban Radio to listen to Joe Madison and the TV on to listen to the national news. Every day there's something new, drastic going on. So y'all forgive me for that little glitch. So anywho, let's get back to these because I got a, uh, an appointment here shortly to go uh, talk to my girls. I missed a week with the girls that I mentor, so I'm on my way out to talk to them. So I'm going to try to put this together, and I'll take them a little slice of it and leave some for Kareem. Okay, so back to uh, this uh, maple cinnamon, <clears throat> excuse me, pull apart. Okay, what I need, I'm going to forego the chopped nuts because you never know when somebody has a nut allergy. So I'm going to leave the nuts out, and I am going to use... Uh, the brown sugar, one third of a cup. I've already put it into my little container right there. And then I, I need two tablespoons of melted butter. I've already melted my butter. I'm going to pull that in right there. The next item on the list is a fourth of a cup of sour cream. So what I'm just going to do, I'm going to take my spoon here. And then I'm going to go one and uh, two. That's my sour cream. Okay. The next thing I need in that mixture, um, let's see, I need my Pillsbury, I'm sorry, yeah, my Pillsbury Cinnabon uh, dough. So I need to put, mix all this together, then I'm going to mix, and I'm going to mix all of this together, and then I'm going to drop these in there, and then we're going to just put them in the pan and let them bake for uh, 15 minutes. Well, it says prep time, 15 minutes. It says bake time has to be, um, it says 12 servings out of that one can. Hmm. So, anywho, I got to have enough time to bake these. I didn't realize the baking time was so long. We put them on 350 degrees, okay, y'all? I believe 350 is uh, about right. No, I'm sorry. I'm saying 350 is actually 375. Y'all can tell I'm rushing, can't you? <clears throat> so anyway, here's my. I'm gonna put it in a blunt pan. I love this pan because it has that little shape to it. So I'm gonna put it in my blunt pan. But first of all, you gotta put it. You gotta mix it up really, really good. And it does call for a dash of. I'm gonna put a little vanilla flavor in mine. Say a good teaspoon of vanilla flavor. That won't hurt nothing. Okay. Okay. I think I got that pretty well mixed up. This is going to be a little bit different with that sour cream. I think it's going to be gooey and yummy and wonderful. So, okay. Got that mixed up. Mmm. Yum, yum. That's a little bit different taste of that. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these in. So they got to bake about 35, 40 minutes. Maybe not that long since I, I got a sort of good size pan. So it says to just, I'm I'm going to dump them on. It doesn't you know how to dump these. It just tells you how to take them out. So what I'm going to do is just get everything. Let's go ahead and mix it all. Mm, that looks yummy. That's got to be going to be good. So I hope y'all had a good uh, Veterans Day. Thanks for all the feedback. Uh, anything we do on Veterans Day to um, on our veterans, let me tell y'all, it's a good thing because those guys work hard. I like I said, told y'all, I'll share it with y'all. I was married to a vet, so I know what they go to 
firsthand in terms of serving, taking care of those troops. My husband was a trooper's troop. He was a soldier's soldier, so that which meant that he made sure that his guys. Well, by the time I met my husband, he he had been in the, in the, in the Air Force for a few years. I think maybe, hmm, I forget, 15 years he was already in. My husband was a few years older than me, which was wonderful. That was the best thing in the world the Lord could have sent me was a good, mature man. And by the time we met, he had already served a few years, so that was good. But then I got with him in the real mature, serious part of his military career. Which was a wonderful thing for me, because for whatever reason, I was always a sort of a grown-up type person. I guess because I took care of my younger sisters and brothers for so many years. Okay, there it is. It's in the pan, and now it's ready to go into the oven. Let me get over here to the oven. My oven is. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. We're gonna put it on that top shelf, which is actually the second shelf. So we're gonna bake that. Let's see. It tells us on the box. 35 minutes, 30 to 35 minutes. So I'm going to put that in while it's baking. I've already cooked a couple pieces of bacon and a piece of sausage that I'm going to leave here for Kareem. So that was just something I wanted to share with y'all. Just one of those little quick things. And as you can see, it took me all of, you didn't see me cut the uh, dough up, but it takes all of 15 minutes according to the box. Make it, put it in the oven, cook it. So 45 minutes, you got it on the table. So that's one of those little quick things. And it's not going to be really, really sweet. Uh, of course, we got that little frosting that I'll smather some of that over there. So it's not a real, real sweet um, little pull apart. So I like the monkey bread. Remember how I do monkey bread? Well, same thing. So anywho, y'all, I got to get upstairs, get my clothes on, get ready to get out of here because I got to get out to school for my girls. I know they're waiting on me because... Haven't seen him in two weeks. So, anywho, you all have a great day today. Cook something good. Keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. And stay safe. Stay warm. Love you guys. And thank you all so, 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 so much for tuning in and giving me all those great uh, uh, compliments and comments about my children, about what I do. What's up? Okay. My friend Tina, so blessed. Always good to hear from you. Wanda, all of y'all. I wish I could remember everybody's name. I'd stand here for four hours, but y'all know who you are. Y'all are the people that keep me going. Y'all are why I come on here and cook and talk every day. So, have a blessed day, and I'm going to let y'all see the end result on that pull apart. But for right now, I got to get upstairs, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, there it is, y'all. Out of the oven. My time frame is like 10 minutes. Um, I would suggest if you're baking in this blunt pan like me, it's not going to bake for 35 minutes, more like 25 minutes. It's kind of crispy on top. It's good. If I had left it in there another three or four minutes, it would have been overbaked. But it's good just like it is because y'all can see why I tasted it. But anyway, I'm just going to take it out of the pan. And for the sake of time, I am going to go ahead and... Um, put the icing on later because I can't do it now because it's too hot so anyway y'all I gotta get out of here I just want to share with y'all y'all know how much I love you so take care have a great day love you to lose